Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over how to write the proof for this sentence. So the sentence says, the negative of any even integer is even. The first thing you want to do when you are writing a direct proof, which is what we're doing in this case, is you want to write the sentence in if-then format. So we would have one variable since it's talking about any even integer is even, so it's just one variable. So I'd write, so I would write, if n is an even integer, then the negative of n is even. Now we're actually going to, going to start writing the proof. So the first thing you want to do is write the word suppose. Now keep in mind that writing proofs is an art. So I like writing the word suppose first, but the person who's grading your proof or proofreading your proof might prefer a different word. They might, you know, like to add certain words here and there in their proof. But the idea, the main skeleton of the proof is the same. So you would write Suppose, and then the first part of the if-then statement. So suppose n is an even integer. And then the very last sentence of your proof would be, thus, negative n is even. So the first sentence is the first part of the if-then statement, and then the last part of your proof is the then part of the if-then statement. So the next thing you want to do is address all of the technical terms that may not be understandable to everyone. So here the word even, not everyone knows what even means. So I have the definition right here. An integer n is even if and only if n equals twice some integer. So symbolically, if n is an integer, then n is even when there exists an integer k such that n equals 2k. So here we have our definition of even. So we could say by the definition of even, by the definition of even, n equals 2k such that k is an integer. So yeah, that's the next sentence. And we're going to use this sentence, this definition, again later on in the proof because we're trying to prove that negative n is even. That's what, we're, that's what we're really trying to prove. We're trying to prove that negative n is even when n is an even integer. So we'll show that negative n is even by referring to this definition right here. So we could say then negative n equals, well, since n equals 2k, then negative n equals negative 2k. And if we rearrange the negative sign, we could say that equals 2 times negative k. And then we could say negative k is an integer because integers are closed under multiplication. So what does that mean? What does closed under multiplication mean? It means if I multiply integers together, that creates integers. If I say integers are closed under addition, that means if I add integers together, that creates integers. If integers are closed by subtraction, under subtraction, then whenever I subtract, whenever I subtract integers, that creates integers. Keep in mind though, that this does not work with division because if I divide integers, that does not always create an integer. Now I can say, if we replace 
negative k with r, then negative n equals 2r, with r being an integer, right? And then we could say this is the definition of an even number. Thus, negative n is even. You could also put like a little square box right here that just symbolizes my proof is done.